All right, so my uh, filming schedule has been off a lot lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Haven't been able to do it. In fact, today's even off. I put, I'm put i put on the wrong shoes. I'm wearing my my dress shoes that I wear to work when I'm wearing a suit. And uh, instead of my boots that I would normally wear. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to get back on track today. I'm using this little mini uh, nickel-plated beetle spin and uh, got one of my smaller smaller rigs here I just want to test this out I know they work I've seen people catch them on there before but I've never actually caught anything using this particular one so I don't even have a whole lot of time it's only I got like an hour before the sun goes down but I mean every time I've come out come out fishing I've been in a situation where I needed a spinner but I didn't have one tied on i didn't feel like tying one on so i made sure it made it a point to do that today that's what i'm using i don't use spinner baits as much as i should and these are really cheap these beetle spins that's why i wanted to try it out because i'm all about saving money so i i mean i got these on clearance at walmart for like 50 cents each and on online like amazon and all that they're only a couple of dollars I usually have pretty good, I at least get a couple of bites straight out across here right at the point of that wall. There's some vegetation right there, lily pads and stuff right at the point of that wall. And I usually get a couple of bites there, but I don't seem to be interested in this. If I don't catch anything on this, I'll come back with something I know will catch them. I had a bite there from the sunfish. I can see the sunfish chasing it. I've got a couple of bites there, but they're pulling on the spinner. They're putting, pulling on the blade. They're not getting the hook. That's one of the problems I've always had with spinner baits. One of the reasons I never, never really liked them because fish tend to go after the blade, not the hook. Oh, I think I just had a bite. I don't know. Everything's going after the blade. It's not going after the hook. It's not going after the body of the lure. Here we go. Oh, there's something right on it. Come on, take it. There was something right, right on it. Chasing it. Oh, little baby bass just struck at it right there, right when it was coming up out of the water. All right, I'm getting bites, but they're going after the blade. They're not going after the body. So it's not, it's not resulting in any hook sets. So I'm going to see, just see if I'm, make sure I'm not fooling myself. See if there's actually fish that will eat something out there. Oh, there we go. See? Right out there in a spot where I saw something chasing the spinner. There we go. Good looking little fish. There's bass here and they're definitely eating. They just wouldn't go after the spinner. I was saying earlier that I usually consistently get bites right off the point of that wall over there in the vegetation. But nothing was going after the spinner, so I'm going to see if there's anything there at all. I 
think if there is, it should go after this. Oh, there's one. Got him. Putting up a good little fight, but small fish. And he shook off the bait. So, yeah, there was one out there off that point. There we go. Nice little. It's actually, it's actually a largemouth. Most of what you get around here is spotted bass. And that is why the slim Sankos and skinny Sankos, whatever you want to call them, are my go-to bait. Because every time I use something, something else is well known, like the beetle spin. Like people, that's a lot of people that's all they use, that's their go-to bait. But every time I use something like that, I don't really have the kind of luck on it that other people do. So that's why the skinny Sankos are my number one bait because that's something I know I can catch fish on in almost any situation.